The Experimental Aircraft Association is bringing the first ever mass-produced airliner to Alexandria. The Ford Trimotor 5AT flew its first flight in 1928. Today, EAA and the Liberty Aviation Museum is working together to bring the historic aircraft around the world. Ed Cornfield is proud to bring the Ford Trimotor aircraft to the masses. He loves learning how it works and exploring its differences. He is honored to be behind the wheel of history. I think it's a very unique opportunity for me personally. It's, uh, it's a thrill to fly it, but I think it's also a thrill for people to ride it. I mean, this is a 1928 airplane, and um, most people don't ever get a chance to do that. They're Features that stood out were its round steering wheels and gauges on the outside. The aircraft only has three engines compared to modern planes. David Lurley feels passengers can have fun flying in the Ford Trimotor. He believes the seats are more comfortable than regular airline seats. With more leg room, passengers can relax and enjoy the experience. It's like anything else. It's like any piece, any museum, any old artifacts in the world. It's something that you people need to get and take a look at touch it, feel it, get on board, and actually you become a part of history. Some were given free rides. It can hold up to nine passengers, and it is safe for people of all ages. Flying in the aircraft will give people the rare chance to immerse themselves in history. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.